um, I don't care. I don't know about you guys, but the one tiny strand of hair on my ball sack is standing up right now. Rumor, the new DCU Superman will fight against the Authority in a new DCU project. The Authority is a group of extreme anti-heroes, very powerful, who intend to apply their own justice in the world, regardless of the means and how cruel. Now, I just finished reading The Authority, and I love it. I love how violent it is. I love how irreverent it is. I love how it's a big fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it just has this punk rock attitude to the to the story and and the vibe of it, which is straight up James Gunn's alley. And the fact that this might actually be true, oh bro, count me in. I hope y'all ready. I am. <laughs> now this really wets my blowhole. So Matthew Vaughn. Kick-Ass Director, X-Men First Class Director, Kingsman Director, and Jeremy Slater, who I believe was the head writer for Doom Patrol, are currently in talks to write and direct The Authority. I love this for several reasons. Number one, Kick-Ass, the first film, not the second one, the second one's trash. The first film is great. I love how weird it is. I love how bloody it is. I love how violent it is. I love the fact that it's a parody of Batman and Robin, but it's not so much of a parody that, you know, that it takes the piss out of the fan base, but it just shows enough respect. I love it. Mwah. Chef's kiss. The way Matthew Vaughn, you know, balances tone, I think I think he's one of the best directors at it. And I feel like Superman versus versus the authority is much akin to Superman versus the elite. And the fact that James Gunn and Peter Saffron and David Zaslav, I love this for several reasons. Number one, James Gunn understands what makes people love comics, what makes the comics work, what makes a great translation and adaptation of comics to film. And James Gunn is slowly building out this universe. He understands, like, listen, I'm writing and directing Superman Legacy, so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to build up this world. I'm going to build up this character, and I'm going to establish who this Superman is, who Clark Kent is as a man, and, and what Superman means to the world, and what he represents not only in the film but to just pop culture in general and he's gonna take his time to establish this character and make us hopefully fall in love with james gunn's interpretation of superman that's number one number two he's gonna build up the authority hopefully with matthew vaughn and jeremy slater because let's be honest most of us don't know who, who the authority is so it's up to matthew vaughn hopefully and jeremy and jeremy slater to really establish this world this, these characters, who Midnighter is, who Apollo is. And if you read the comics, obviously, you know, they're not really nice people. <laughs> like, they don't give a shit. They're basically the boys for the DC Universe. Just not as extreme or psychopathic as them, in my opinion. But they're damn near close to it. And they just seek justice to whoever they see fit. And they don't care if it rubs you the wrong way. And I feel like once you establish superman and superman legacy once you establish who these people are in the, in the authority and once you realize what a great d dichotomy and what a great contrast between superman who is this good-hearted person who you understand where his morality comes from you know raised by good parents and is a good person at heart as opposed to the authority who who are basically just <laughs> <laughs> basically don't care who you are they will kill you if they have to and if they seek and if they think uh it it you know they deem fit that you are unworthy to live if you're if you're a low life scum suckers <laughs> so i love that contrast and again i think it'll be a great build up once we see superman versus the authority because we we understand as the general audience okay superman legacy was awesome phenomenal we know who superman is and now that we saw the authority we know who these people are so again it, it creates that great rift and tension between superman and the authority and i feel like the authority is going to be the main catalyst as to why the Just League is formed because I feel like Superman is going to get his ass kicked by Apollo, which is basically Superman for the authority. And Su Superman is going to realize, like, listen, I need help. I need backup. Uh, who's around? Boom. Justice League. Batman, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman. And I feel like you have the Justice League versus the authority, which would be awesome. Um, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. So this is all just theory speculation. But if the authority is the reason why the Justice League is formed in the first place, I think that will really make the, the authority an A team. Uh, but it's all very exciting. So if Matthew Vaughn takes the job, please, I think it would be a great fit. And as always, hit like, subscribe. Let me know. DC, I love it. Keep it up. Truth out.
Fuck this, it's flopping. Everything's going down the drain. It's time to scrap it all. No more Kang Dynasty, Secret Wars, Fantastic Four, all of it gone, except for one. We gotta make it all Wong. Wong movie, show, game comics. We will be back at the top in no time.